Here we go, level 8. I doubt this will be a walk in the park. Let's go ahead and lock this guy up first. And we'll go ahead and throw the slowdown in front. We'll hit one less target, but it'll create a little more bottleneck. Unfortunately, this wolf is going to be able to reach, so we'll try and get... Yeah, we'll free him up. We should be able to absorb that hit a little bit easier now. Here we go. Luluko cleaning up. Yeah, Luluko and Phil Johnson are now friends. Best friends. I don't know if this is enough to be a kill, but it should be a pretty good hit. There, we can actually do... Yeah, we can take them both out. So as usual, Peter Bond cleaning up. Now we won't be able to reach unless we aim. So let's go ahead and do the aim. Oh, is it only going to hit one? <laughs> Didn't hit any of the targets that I intended to, but it's all right. We're getting damage out there. And because we got the slow there, he wasn't able to get around. Let's keep these nice and low health, but not kill them off. They're creating a nice traffic jam, and we might want to take advantage of that soon. So we'll get them all to within maybe one hit. So that way when we do need to get rid of them... Oh, I didn't realize he was back here. Yeah, when we do need to get rid of them, we can do it pretty easily. I think what we'll do is let's get some distance here. I don't think that's going to be enough to stop, so we'll, we'll throw this up. And maybe we'll get a pushback and then get our second hit. Now, where did the Nightmare show up? Okay, right next to all of our archers. So we're getting kind of a uh, bum rush down here. We gotta rotate everybody down here, or we just rotate up. Where's our mud? I think what we do is we start with a, a nice, generous portion of mud. And then let's back up. And he's actually first to move, so he's gonna get stuck on that. That's actually perfect. Now, we don't want to push back into the fog, because then we won't have vision. That, that would be a bit of a problem. Let's go ahead and get a push back here. All right, so that works for that. We do need to start getting rid of these things. So let's take out these two. We're going to get wall up here. All right, we need to get a good push. All right, do not attack Jelly. No, he's going to attack Jelly. Yeah, shoot. That's actually really bad. Uh, we can run, though. We can run. Now, we do have bleed. And let's get back here so we can have one of the tanks heal him up. Yeah, luckily we get willpower. Oh, are you kidding me? It's got no health left. Let's create a little buffer here. We don't want lazy laws to get uh, engaged. All right, we can line this up. This will be... Oh, maybe not. I was going to say that's at least one kill, but I guess not. All right, priority is to make sure that Jelly does not die. So let's get him out. And then, like I said, we'll, we'll start rotating over there. There we go. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to uh, step on the poison. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would. And let's keep working on a heal. Uh, he's going to engage on Lazy Laws. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Got to figure out what the best course of action here is. Uh, we do have run available. Let's go ahead and do that. Nope, maybe not. All right, that disengages, so that should help. And another heal. Might as well. All right, this is going to hurt. We should have enough firepower here to, to take these out, I, I think. Yeah, and then we'll just keep backing up. Let's not back up all the way, though. I'm pretty sure we can take this boar out. And again, let's keep working on this boar. And we're going to go and lock him into place. Well, you know what? Actually, we can get a push, a stab, and a shot. And then let's actually get him all the way out. Yeah, Lazy Law's got no armor left. So we don't want him to get picked off here. Let's see if we can get a hit on both of these. Nice. Right, we can get a hit on both of these without hitting our own. Actually, you know what we should do? We need to keep hitting this thing. All right, two stacks of terror. Oh, Tibbers ran. <laughs> Come on, Tibbers. You've seen these things before. All right, well, it is what it is. I right, will get a hit with aim. And then we'll back out. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take him out before he gets another hit in. Ooh, man. 32 is huge. Man, that's so much damage. Alright, well, that's fine. Nobody died. We got him out. Yeah, we're going to have to use some 
healing on this one for sure. Oh, you know what? I forgot to use the gurney. Yeah, we used our medicine already. We could have just used this. Whoops. Prime of Chaos is the only one that's not maxed, but I think we'll be able to get there fairly soon. <laughs> Tibbers. Tibbers the coward. All right, we can use a little bit of renown. Uh, we can use a little bit of influence and get an aptitude point. That actually works out pretty well. Yeah, we're going to use career plans and pump up critical. Right, let's go around the boards. So I don't really feel like fighting another pack. I feel like we're doing okay on food. Now, up this way is where our first objective is. Do want to explore a little bit, though, before we go do it. Actually, no, we should probably just do it. And how are we looking on inventory space? Got about 100 left. I think we're okay. All right, we got to go clear out the mine. Oh, well. Yeah, this is, this is no joke here. Level 8, and there's a ton of them. It does look like we can fit everybody on this side, so let's go do that. I do, especially for the build that we're going with, the composition. I feel like fighting is one big group, and then getting the enemy to bunch up. Probably in our best interest. I think if we had a ton of quick hit, you know, heavy damage dealers, we'd want to be as close as we could. But get a little bit of distance here. Let's start with... Where's our mudslinger? So let's start with the mud sling. Now we'll put another set of mud down here where this wrongdoer is. Not for this round, but we'll do it on the next one. Now we do have to keep in mind when this thing's going to drop, so we're going to make sure we move them before that happens. But I think we should be fine. It's still pretty early. Now I do want to get a slow in on this guy. I think it's enough. Yeah, it's enough to keep him from getting a hit in, so he'll waste his turn. Did almost no damage, though. That's a ton of armor. Now, we'd like to get involved here. We'll get in the mud. Yeah, we can hit both. And we should be able to finish this guy off. And actually, we can even back out just a little bit. And let's shove them back a little bit. I don't know if this is... We, we might actually have enough. Yeah, it's not going to be enough to stop him. He's still going to get a shot off, unfortunately, but... Yeah, that's all right. We got good armor on bones. You know, let's let Peter Bond get his attacks off. I feel like as soon as we engage in melee with one of our, our tanks, he's going to get cut off. And I don't think we need to use the daggers. I don't think this is going to do a whole lot of damage. I bet they have pretty good strength. 46. It's higher than what we have. Yeah, 34. We're, we're just barely short. All right, there's another one down. One damage. It, it's not really worth using it on them. So let's just make sure we're hitting targets that actually do damage. Or that will actually take damage. Alright, Boulder's coming up soon, so let's go ahead and move before I forget. There we go, that did some damage. Not a lot, but better than what we did last time. And I think we'll go ahead and put up one of these cones. We'll barrage that area. Yeah, the armor is really doing a number on, on us. We can't really get past it. You know what we can do though is... Yeah, we should be able to stop him. We'll keep beating on him. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. So we'll aim and let's take out somebody else. Maybe one of the archers. Oh yeah, perfect. That's what we should be focusing on. Oh, there's one down. Or another one down, rather. So, so far this is looking to be a really good fight for us. Yeah, I think <laughs> our annoying build is, is having a good effect. Uh, we got to clear this out. So what we'll probably do is back up. So let's go ahead and aim. Let's get some hits in on the archer again. Ooh, that was a good hit. Uh, unfortunately, he's going to get a hit in as well, but we have our tanks. Yeah, it's not going to do much. Actually, they helped us out. Big hit. Oh, man, almost. Yeah, that archer's almost down. Now, what we need to do is throw up some mud. That's what I should have done already. And we're going to throw it as close to our line as possible. And then we'll just keep backing up and getting Valor points. I feel like we need to get one of our frontliners involved here. Yeah, let's just do it like this. <laughs> That's so much damage. Oh, is that? All right, let's let's go take out the archer real quick. Yeah, we'll bonk him in the head, and then I don't know what else. See, that's a poacher. Yeah, don't want to go too close to the rock. You know, we're just gonna have to lock this guy up, and then hope that he blocks. Yeah, don't want all these guys collapsing on this one. But we'll see. Oh wow. I don't know what... I think that was the item that he's got. It did so much damage, though. All right, this should be enough. Yep, it's going to be a double tap. Oh, he's just getting manhandled. But he does get a hit off, unfortunately. Right, we still have one more use 
I, th I think I would like to save it. Let's actually... Oh, did we cancel? Yeah, I think we canceled it. Whoops. Actually, if we can get two hits on this. Yeah, we can. So it's going to be a kill and a hit on the hoodlum. And we've got tons of valor points. So let's go ahead and throw up another barrage. Interesting. He bypassed. Yeah, Poacher just completely ignored us. All right, well, we can do the same thing. Ignore the tank and take out the squish. Now, luckily, we are able to get in range. So let's close the distance here. Let's kick the Poacher in the nuts. Stab him. Oh, wow. That did no damage. Oh, 152 damage. What the heck? I guess because it's an attack of opportunity, but... And then maybe we burned through his armor or something. Maybe that's why it was so high. That was a lot of damage. All right, Peter Bond. I think we can get a hit here. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't get behind him. And Frenzy is just not really going to do anything at all. So we'll just get close enough for some support. Now, let's cancel it. We have so many Valor points. Don't really need to worry about that too much. Let's run up, conserve our points, our movement points, and then we'll back up. Throw down another uh, a spear wall. All right, we'll keep slowing this guy down. He's going to take some pretty big hits here. 71. Oh, he's just shy. Wow, Luluko didn't get a hit in. Yeah, I don't think he's going to survive long enough. So what we'll do is let's actually cancel. I, I don't think this archer is going to survive anything up there. Let's focus on this heavy armored guy. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to survive too long. All right, let's make some space. Actually, that's... Yeah, he's done as well. And Peter Bon can clean it up. Nice. So we, we took a little bit of damage. One of our guys got pretty badly hurt, but I think overall we did okay. There we go. So we completed that mission. Let's go do some lock picking. There we go. Got it. We got another ornate key. I don't think we have anybody that's at level 8, do we? I think most everybody's at level 7. Yeah, so we can't even use that yet. And there's a couple spots we can mine in here. I don't see anything else. There we go. Two perfects in a row. And I think that's all we can do here. Now, before we go back to town, I think it would be good. Actually, I was going to say back to town. We haven't even gotten to town. Before we get out of here, let's head up this way. Uh, there's another ghost pack. I, I think we're going to pass up on the ghost pack. Let's go see what's going on up here. All right, that's a pretty big pack of animals. All right, this looks like a good spot for a piton. Double piton. Here we go. So I don't know if this is a secret area or just a spot that... Okay, there we go. I was going to say we're kind of stuck. Oh, there's another one, actually. Yeah, you can't get down. <laughs> there's a foul smell in the camp. I bet you that's, that's probably from this thing. Badly decayed. Oh, I got it. So if you keep them over the limit, they don't die. They just start to smell. It's interesting. So we'll clear it out. Yeah, that's our impaling state. Not that it mattered. Our happiness goes up by a huge amount. So All right, let's get another piton set up, but we'll do it closer to where these other two are. All right, a lot of stuff to get here. Now, where are we actually? Nice secret. So we've got cure for the plague, ruby and fragment of a small item. Let's actually put that in before I forget. I think this is probably all there is, but let's see if you can go past. Doesn't look like it. We'll check the other way too, but I think this is probably all there is. But I mean, we need to let things cool off anyways. Our suspicion is really high. I don't think this goes anywhere either. No. So this is just a little secret area on the side. Interesting. So let's go back up the mountain. But you know what? We didn't inspect this. Wait. Oh yeah, I think we did actually. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my mind here. All right, back up the hill. Man, that's a lot of pitons set up for that little tiny uh, loot. Now, there's a spot we can dig here. So we got some sapphire, a pick, and a gladius. So we just need to get a few more levels, and then we can start using some of these. Now, we're definitely not doing a hard mission right now. That would be suicide. So let's head back south. I feel like all we're doing is sleeping and eating. Tiger Ninja could not digest the meal from the night before and is ill. Interesting. It's one of our ponies. Can we put <laughs> can we put the pony in the gurney? Doesn't look like it. Rick Walker gains some relations with a bunch of people. Let's head back this way, see if we can get to town. All right, can we set up another one here? All right, back on the road. Now we should be able to move a little better. I don't know who those people are. So the Garusa clan. I don't know if this is the town. Yeah, it looks like this is the town. A little different looking. All right, we can set up a travel post as well. Let's do that. 
When I was young, I all you have to do is buy the land and pay craftsmen. Fifteen hundred. I mean, we've got so much money. We we can pretty much do whatever we want. So we'll set that up. I don't think we need to store anything here just yet. Yep, we can go turn in our quest since we got almost a thousand waiting for us. And then we'll set up some some of the easier ones. We need to build up our levels here. Now there's no way we can handle this one, the the main boss fight. So unusually powerful plague ridden prowling the lands. Interesting. So I really hope that doesn't mean that we get plague every time we fight them. That would be kind of a pain. Yeah, let's uh let's take the rat infestation for now. Right, what food recipes do you got? Yeah, we got wolf ribs and tail of the wolf in the hop. So we'll take both of those. Yeah, some of these meals are pretty good. Like uh, tail of the wolf and the hop, critical damage increased by 25%. That's a lot. And then we get uh, troop happiness by four, but that's really not a concern. And actually, we've got wolf ribs, uh, beer infused wolf ribs. We usually just turn them into sausages, but I think this one would be even better. Now, one thing I do want to do is make some more apple. We get the apple pie. So let's buy or steal a bunch of stuff so we can do that. Yeah, apple pancake, we need honey. I don't think they have it here, actually. And since we're here, let's craft up a few of these healing potions. And we did buy, let's see, what is this? Explosive oil. 50% chance to deal 5% of max health in misty oil. Yeah, this one basically deal splash damage to anybody that are, that's around that person. Yeah, some of these oils look pretty good. We're going to start using these things. You know what? Uh, I forgot. We do have poisonous oil and we have a ringleader's dagger. Let's go to the blacksmith for... Oh, there's no blacksmith. Huh. No blacksmith. Whoops. It's going to see if we can maybe upgrade, but yeah, let's, let's go ahead and give this thing some poisonous oil. A little bit of context. So it looks like we got uh, some plague issues we got to deal with here. Oh wow, there's literally nothing in here. <laughs> what the heck? Why even bother putting it in a chest? I don't think we want to steal any of this stuff, it's just junk. You know, we should probably sell some stuff. We are getting kind of overburdened. So trinkets. And again, we've got some decent stuff, but we can't really use some of them. Because they're level 8. This one's level 7, but I think we're good with what we've got right now. Now we do have, we had a chisel, but I feel like the pick is going to be much more important. So the pick, you get a higher chance of finding etherite, and that's something that we're going to need a lot of. Whereas this one gives you sandstone. Big whoop. I don't even think we use that anymore. Now all this armor is pretty low tier, so let's just get rid of it. And that frees up a ton of space. I don't think we have to worry too much about it now, but... I gotta figure out where the forge is. Right, we got a quest to do right over here. Oh, they got animals. They're only level 7 though, but they have a bear. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah, I think we're just going to ignore these on this side. We'll just focus there, everything on this side for now. Ooh, actually, no, if we back up just one spot, we can get all three. Now, I think this isn't going to get us the kill. Yeah, it is actually. Never mind. Perfect. So that wastes a turn for them. That's a good start. Let's go ahead and slow them down. Oh, this is a triple. That's huge. Now, if we can take out the leader. Yep, we can. So he's gone. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Yeah, it is actually. Unfortunately, it doesn't move the blocker guy though. Which shouldn't be a problem. We can engage him here. You know what? Actually, we could just finish this guy off. <laughs> That's it. Alright, now what we probably want to do is start slowing them down a bit. Actually, we can get a hit on both. And slow them down. I think the biggest concern is that bear. Oh wow, these guys are pretty squishy actually. Let's get some slow in on this bear. It's going to be doing a ton of damage here soon. Yeah, now he's double slow. There's not really much they can do. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably speed this up in the edit. Oh wow. <laughs> Rick Walker took a big hit. I, for some reason, I thought we were going to slow him down more than that, but then I forgot. It's always going to have Inspiration, which basically doubles... If I can show it. Basically doubles the movement range. So there's not a whole lot of chance that we were going to get out of here without taking a hit. Alright, there we go. Bears down. And we got ourselves some level 6 stuff, so we'll just sell all that. And Tibbers hit level 8. There we go. I, no, I don't think we have any level 8 stuff for him. It's, um... 
bones that we're waiting on. Now, level 8, we can pick between Last Stand. And as long as the unit has no armor, they have Brutality, which increases damage by 30%. Pretty good. Hand-to-hand -hand combat applies Disarm for one round. Basically can't use their weapons or skills. Uh, sorry, skills that use their weapon. In Hardcore Training, so unit is immune to bleeding, poison, or burning. Yeah, I feel like the best one here is Hardcore Training. That just, to me, seems like a really good one. Hand-to-hand -hand seems okay, especially for the build that we're doing. We're not doing a ton of damage on the frontliners. So for them to be able to disable somebody for a whole turn is, is pretty good. And then Peter Bond also hit level 8. And I don't think we're waiting on anything for him. Now for the level 8 here, we've got Explosive Gas, which I don't think is all that good. Uh, blackout is interesting. Uh, basically, it's like smoke. Increases their mischance. Damage attack from behind by 20%. That's an increase. And disengages at the end of their turn. We don't really get engaged all that often. So I'm not too worried about that. Cold-Blooded seems pretty good. It, it synergizes well with the other stuff that we got going on. So let's do that. We'll also pump up Critical Hit. Yeah, so there we go. All right, and there's a farm over here. Let's go check and see what they need. Oh, and I forgot. Our Dark Steed also gained a level. So this is level 5. Run duration increased by 5%. And then Constitution. Now we got quite a bit of food. We just don't have anything cooked. But let's go ahead and cook up a few things here. And we did finally finish laundering our alchemical residue. So let's go ahead and throw Jamo somewhere else. Yeah, we'll chat with these people in a minute. First, we gotta steal their stuff. Man, this one was tough for some reason. Right, and we got almost nothing out of it. It looks like somebody got bit. And these people are here to take them in. And they're saying the wife's not here, so... Not sure where she's gone. Oh, I see her. <laughs> I was trying to see if they had the hemp in here. I don't think they do. And I see her little head poking out there, so she's hiding back here. Now, we could report her, or we can give her Cure for the Plague, which is very expensive. We don't have a whole lot of these. But we, yeah, we do. We have 11. Let's give her one. All right, so we fixed her. Guards are leaving. So we're going to get Tooth Collar and 100 crowns. So plus 10% critical damage. Pretty good. Probably on, like, Rick Walker. I don't know if we need that much more critical hit chance. I feel like critical hit damage is probably going to be even better. Oh, it's only on animals. Never mind. <laughs> Rick Walker... Get on all fours and act like an animal. Uh, so that one's done. All right, we don't want to mess with the guards, so we'll keep moving down. Oh, they're coming. All right, we're getting chased by all kinds of stuff. Oh, they're having a fight. Kind of curious to see who wins that one. Actually, what happens if we help? <laughs> so the guard patrol wants us dead. Or we could help the plague ridden and take out the guards. So they're level 8, and they've got, let's see, a bear, a few other things. It's going to add to our wanted, our suspicion. Yeah, or we could just back out. I feel like there's not a whole lot to gain from here. Oh, no, we can't back out. All right, we got four people helping us out. We're just going to throw them in the back, let them get slaughtered. Don't really care what they do. Let's go ahead and put Peter Bond. Where are you? Let's put Peter Bond over here since he's got really good mobility. And our Mud Slinger. But let's start with let's start with Peter Bond. Is that going to hit? That's not going to really hit too many people. That'll hit three, though. Oh, interesting. So apparently that character is important. If they die, the game ends. I did not realize that. So that's, I guess, part of uh, one of the quests. Interesting. All right, we can get four people in on this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, these things do a lot of damage. So we don't really want to mess with them too much. That's two hits. Still got one to go, but I think we'll be okay. So let's go ahead and throw up a spear. Alright, there's two down. Man, these things do a lot of damage. Even when they get hit. So it looks like getting into melee combat range is probably not that good of an idea. Yeah, it looks like once they throw their poison out, they start healing up from that as well. So you, you really got to focus them down. Well, good thing they're leaving the tracker alone. She looked like she got out for the most part anyways. All right, so that's all the ones down on this side. Actually, we just wasted these two, but that's not a big deal. All right, let's start moving up and uh, try and help these guys out. All right, now some sacrifices need to be made. 
We're gonna go hit one of our buddies. <laughs> I mean, he's he's kind of like a police officer, so I don't feel too bad about it. You know, when you're a criminal, you gotta pick your friends a little bit more wisely. But we gotta... Uh, man, kind of in the way, so let's just get out of the way. Alright, Trapper's walking into poison for no reason at all. But, I, I mean, I'm not too surprised. Ooh, plague infected wounds. So these guys do give the plague. We gotta be super careful here. Alright, you got a good hit there, but this this guy's gonna go down for sure. I don't think they're gonna have anybody left though. Yeah, the trapper should be fine. Right, we don't want to get into melee range, let's just keep him kind of out of the way, but close enough that they can still help. Ooh, another plague infected wound. Yeah, we don't want we don't want to mess with that. And I don't really want Peter Bond getting in there. So we'll just keep him kind of on the outside. Oops. <laughs> oh, my bad. Not really, but... All right, there's two down. Oh, that's it, actually. Sweet. So we survived, and I think... Yeah, the guard's going to leave us alone. It doesn't help us with our rating, though. Yeah, suspicion level's still pretty high. Oh, that's the edge of the map. Okay, so there's nothing down here. That'll probably be an expansion. Let's go check what's over here on the left. So the hangman's tree, what do we got here? We'll steal some money from this uh, hanging corpse. Yeah, there's money all over the place. All right, let's see help. what this person needs. Help. Please help me. Yeah, we could help them out, and we sh probably should. There are, oh, that's a lot. Okay, hopefully the map's good. Yeah, it is not good at all. That's actually like kind of worst case scenario here. Okay, let's think about this for a second. So the goal is to not get hit at all. So we either need to just do an insane amount of damage really, really quickly, or we need to spear wall or something like that. So I think we'll start with the spear wall, because I don't think we have enough damage to, to kill any of these in one, one go. So let's go ahead and spear wall this. And we'll go ahead and finish them off, but I'm going to go move over here and hopefully entice them to attack this way. Oh, that's not good. And let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and throw some mud down this way. Right, we can hit two with this. And we could throw a spear wall up if we wanted to do another one. But I think we'll save it. Yeah, let's come here in the back and we can set him up to block these five that are coming on the back side. Alright, so that's the second one down. I think we're going to have at least one more turn before we have to engage these guys. So I think we'll be in good shape. Here we go. So it worked. Oh, no, he's going to get attacked in anyways. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, well, back to the drawing board. Right, can we take him out? Yes. So that saves us another turn. And I think we can engage this guy. Nice. Four hits. I mean, it took a while to do it, but that's fine. And let's go ahead and back him up. Not too much. Yeah, that should be good. Just enough so that we're not in, in range. I really don't know what we're going to do here with Peter Bond. This is not a good uh, a good map for his build. Let's see if we can finish this guy off here. There we go. Now we got to turn our focus here. Probably think it's a... Yeah, I think it's a good idea to start with the mud. There we are. Now they have one person coming up this way. Or one... Uh, what are these things? Plagrin? I don't think that's a good use of our ability i think we should do is try and attack these guys yeah we'll get a little damage a little bit of a slow there we go so that one's down on that side we just got to focus on these others i i don't think we're gonna have too much trouble here looks like we were able to do enough damage we did take some hits luckily nobody got the plague so we'll go ahead and finish this up i'll edit the rest and there was the last one. So that was not bad at all. And they dropped infected blood and not much else, unfortunately. So not a great battle, but hopefully this guy gives us something. Oh, we got two spices. Those are worth a bit. 